In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Welcome to St. Bartholomew's uh, through uh, Facebook and later on on uh, YouTube. I'm uh, Father Marco Lopez and I'm together with uh, Mother uh, Sue Lucas, uh, who will be the preacher. So today we're celebrating the, the patronal feast of uh, St. Edmund, King and Martyr. So we honor his memory because he's, uh, we have one of our churches in our parish um, um, under his name. I mean, he is one of our uh, patron saints. So we prepare our hearts by saying together the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The saints were faithful unto death and now dwell in the heavenly kingdom forever. As we celebrate their joy, let us bring to the Lord our sins and weaknesses and ask for his mercy. We are often slow to follow the example of Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We often fail to be known as Christ's disciples. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We often fail to walk the way of the cross. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you. Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God. Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Eternal God, whose servant Edmund kept faith to the end, both with you and with his people, and glorified you by his death, grant us such steadfastness of faith that with the noble army of martyrs we may come to enjoy the fullness of the resurrection life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us now hear the readings for today. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Loyalty and faithfulness preserve the king, and his throne is upheld by righteousness. The king's heart 
is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. All deeds are right in the sight of the doer, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked, are sin. The violence of the wicked will sweep them away because they refuse to do what is just. The word of the Lord. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt, you drove out the nations and planted it. You made room around it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. The hills were covered with its shadow, and the cedars of God by its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea, and its tendrils to the river. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Why then have you broken down its wall, so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar of the wood tears it off, and all the insects of the field devour it. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Turn again, O God of hosts, look down from heaven, and behold, cherish this vine which your right hand has planted, and the branch you made so strong for yourself. Let those who burnt it with fire, who cut it down, perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. A reading from the Revelation to St. John. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and power and kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of his comrades has been thrown down who accuses them day and night before our God. But they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they did not cling to life, even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens, and those who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Whoever would become my followers, let them deny themselves, take up the cross and follow me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the 
hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, Do not think I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword, because I have come to set a father against his son, a son against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one's foes will be the members of one's household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy, them, worthy of me, and whoever does not take up the cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Those who find their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For the gospel, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, we would usually be together as a parish today to celebrate the patrons of one of our churches, St Edmund today, the patron of St Edmund's Forest Gate. We managed to be together at the beginning of September for St Bartholomew, whom we transferred from the 24th of August. And we're doing the same thing with St. Edmund, transferring him to a Sunday. Um, St. Edmund's feast is actually on Friday, so next Sunday would be the nearest Sunday, but that then means that his feast runs into Christ the King. They are connected, but Christ the King has an importance in itself. So we've moved him to today. I don't actually know how our, our St Edmund at Forest Gate came to be so dedicated. And perhaps some of St Edmund's own worshipping congregation can enlighten me there. But he is very much an East Anglian saint with churches dedicated to him dotted across our diocese. And of course, he has an entire diocese that bears his name, our neighbours at Ipswich and St Edmundsbury with their cathedral city at Bury St Edmunds. In easier times, we visited Bury St Edmunds and saw St Edmunds relics in the cathedral there. His story is very familiar to us, of course, but it's one of those stories where history and legend are impossible to disentangle. He was probably born in about AD 840, and he became king of East Anglia at the age of about 15. Despite his youth, he had a reputation for wisdom and justice and for protecting the poor. He was, however, certainly a Christian, and in one legend, he is reputed to have taken an extended retreat, to have retired for a year to his tower at Huntstanton to learn the whole of the Psalter by heart. By the late 9th century, he was dealing with invasions from pagan rulers from Denmark and elsewhere. In 870, in the early part of the year, he managed to push back two such invasions, led by two Danish chiefs, Ingwar and Hubba. But they soon returned with overwhelming reinforcements and defeated him, possibly at Hoxt on the Norfolk-Suffolk border. But he refused to accept the terms of the settlement that were laid on him, because it compromised his Christian faith. He was flogged and beaten, tied to a tree and shot with arrows, and eventually died by beheading. His remains were removed to Bedricksworth in Suffolk in about the 10th century, when St Dunstan wrote a life of St Edmund, and this place, Bedricksworth, soon became known as Bury St Edmunds and became a popular place of pilgrimage. 
So we give thanks for him today. We are together as a parish because we are keeping the saint at the same time, even if in different places. So we give thanks for our fellowship in the gospel here in the parish of the Holy Trinity. We give thanks for the wisdom Edmund showed despite his youth, for the courage he showed in the face of impossible odds, and for his connection to us across the centuries and to this place of East Anglia, of which we are still a part as much as we're a part of London. And we give thanks for our own St Edmunds, for the wisdom and courage of her people, for the faithfulness of her worship, and for her continuing witness to the gospel in the Forest Gate part of our parish. Amen. Let us now affirm our faith. We say together in faith, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. We believe in God the Father, who created all things. For by, by his, his will they were created and have their being. We believe in God the Son, who was slain who with his blood. blood he purchased for us God, from for every tribe and language, from every people and nation. We believe in God, the Holy Spirit. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come, even so, come, Lord, for Jesus. Amen. Let us now bring before God our intercessions. The response to the prayers is when I say, Saviour, we hear your call, you respond, help us to follow. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, unless you change, and become humble like little children, you can never enter the kingdom of heaven. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, happy are the humble. They will receive what God has promised. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, be merciful, as your Father is merciful. Love your enemies and do good to them. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, love one another as I love you. There is no greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, Go to my people everywhere and make them disciples, and I will be with you always to the end of time. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. God of mercy, you know us and love us, and hear our prayer. Keep us in the eternal fellowship of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace be, be with you. you. 
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For following the example of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, your holy martyr, Saint Edmund, shed his blood for the glory of your name. His death reveals your power, made perfect in our human frailty. You choose the weak and make them strong in bearing witness to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. With joyful hearts, we echo on earth the song of the angels in heaven as they praise your glory without end, saying, Holy, holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. So in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, 
which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ Christ will come come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in a company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Edmund, Saint Bartholomew, Saint Mary Magdalene, Saint Alban, Saint George, Saint um, Paul, Saint Martin of Tours, and the angels and all the saints, we may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Uniting our prayers with our Blessed Lady, St. Edmund, and all the company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb who would you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb who would you take away the sin God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father.
Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. God, our Redeemer, whose church was strengthened by the blood of your martyr Edmund, so bind us in life and death to Christ's sacrifice, that our lives, broken and offered with his, may carry his death and proclaim his resurrection in the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you that you have fed us in this sacrament, united us with Christ, and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet prepared for all peoples. Amen. Amen. So, um, the notice is, um, in terms of um, aftermath of the APCM, we still have some vacancies for the MMU Council. Um, we have um, a vacancy at St Mary's, two from St George, uh, St Bart's and three from St Ed's. If you're a church warden, you don't need to be included because you are already ex officio on this. Our next scheduled PCC is um, on the 18th, which is uh, Tuesday, I think, or Wednesday? It's the middle of this week yeah. anyway. Um, and it's going to be via uh, Zoom. Uh, check your emails for the link, um, which I will send out. And I do apologize. In fact, I think it's Wednesday. Um, I, and I do apologize for the delay in sending out the papers. You will get them on Tuesday. Uh, St. Bart's DCC is next Sunday. That will also be via Zoom and again, Please check your emails for the link. And St Mary's next DCC is the 27th of January 2021 at 7.15. And we hope and pray that by then we will be meeting in person again. Uh, so we are sending you, uh, we've sent out the newsletter by post this week. If you haven't received it already, you should in the next few days. Um, after this, if you can access it online, uh, please do so. But we are going to continue to mail the newsletter to those that we know can't actually get it online. If you can think of anyone that we might have missed or anyone else who would like a paper copy, please do get in touch with us at the office. But our regular people, I think you can assume that we're already um, on to that. Um, so, um, as you know, uh, the lockdown has seen a very rapid rise in the use of social media uh, within the parish, and we learnt a great deal from the first uh, lockdown. And one of the things that we learnt about social media it is that actually less is more 
or too much is too much. Um, and in fact, that is uh, the advice uh, of actually uh, people who advise charities on the use of social media. Um, so we're going to try to streamline our online presence. Um, there were simply too many pages and groups leading to duplication and, and actually sometimes confusion and sometimes things that were not entirely uh, appropriate. So all of our Facebook is going to be on the official parish Facebook page. You can see uh, uh, the link there. Um, and we will use that to highlight each of our three churches. Um, and in that way, we hope we can uh, reach more people. Uh, YouTube channels for St. Bart's and St. Mary's will continue to be used. And of course, uh, parish WhatsApp groups will continue because those are private groups uh, for, for your own discussion. We do have a, a representative from, from St. Bart's um, in the shape of Marco at the moment, a representative um, from St. Mary's, um, and we are hoping that we will also have a representative from St. Edmund's so that they can filter news from their own church uh, to, to the parish social media. But it's really, really important that we get this right, uh, and the message there is um, less really, really um, is more. Um, Bible study is carrying on on Zoom. Um, our final session in this um, group, if you like, is tomorrow at 2 p.m. The link is in the newsletter. It's also in the uh, formation section on the website where you can just click on it and it will take you um, into that meeting. Um, I think that's all. I think uh, bow your heads and prepare to receive God's blessing. Thank you, Mother Sue, and thank you for all of you who are watching right now, and who will watch later on on YouTube. So let us re receive God's blessing. I pray that God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and love and steadfastness, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace, in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.